Good afternoon, Abbotsford residents. There's a GoFundMe, Democracy Being Challenged in Abbotsford. That money there is to go after and stop the corruption. I'm here in Mission BC. First of all, Mission BC, I have to say, has the best thing that any municipality could have. The RCMP that helped us homeowners so much, especially on the municipal election, uh, and they're quite adamant too. Ross Siemens had no business with Greg Toes blocking a democracy. It's illegal. And they encouraged me, the RCMP, which I don't need that encouraging, for all Canadians to fight for that and send the little bugger to jail the rest of his life for doing what he did. He frauded Abbots for taxpayers, he loaded, he stole. They saw the bank account. Basically, Ross is so low, he'll go to the graveyards, dig people up and pull the gold out to sell it. But I'm here in Mission, here at the City Hall of Mission, the Poodle's headquarters. She used to be the mayor of Mission. When she was the mayor of Mission, Abbotsford residents, along with me, helped her defeat Simon Gibson, the Liberal, of Henry using bylaw and electoral officers like he did to Eric Nival, taking down the signs to lessen it. That lessened Simon Gibson's chance because Henry went, oh, Simon, I can't help you. That's the RCMP over there. If I get caught, Simon. So he lessened it with Magna and bylaws, allowing Pam to come in. When I ran for election, Pamela Alexis stood by where Henry drowned, not only blocked me and loaded the elections and frauded because he told her, in my opinion, we could cover it. He had the Abbotsford newspaper. He had the MP, Ed Fast, my shield. Wasn't Superman, but Ed's shield. And Mike DeYoung and Brad Viss here in Mission. Cover. Henry tried to end my life. He got in his car, came to a protest after he asked the shit squad to move it and tried to end my life. That there calls for every Canadian in the body of law to send a little shithole guy to, to jail. Henry used his political connections and his crap that he was tied to and bought his way out. Unacceptable by every Canadian and by the body of law that we all must abide by. There's a council here, Ken Harar. Ken Harar was trying to promote multiculturalism, from what I understand. Abbott's their missions mayor and council went against him and asked him, blocking him basically in freedom of speech and what he was doing, you can't do that, and asked him to take down his post and whatever else. Ken Harar is suing Paul Horn, the mission mayor. The mission mayor would have went down in legacy as a great mayor. Now he's scandaled because this council standing up for what's right and Abbotsford newspaper knows about this and the newspaper here knows about it, but they're not giving that guy any coverage. But here's where the difference comes. The Mission Temple said in a statement to me that Pamela Alexis, the poodle, the poodle, wants their votes. The South Asian votes here. I need to get in, the poodle. You know, I can do so much for you. This is the poodle. Would not stand up to tell Paul Horn to stop it because he's NDP, he's with her. And wouldn't stop this fight about this. There is racism in the world, but there's supposed to be a small advantage of the average junior individual, but not by leaders, not by leaders. And she wouldn't do it because she needs her votes back out of here. Her old establishment is here. The Mission Temple and now Abbotsford Indo, South Asian community, are gonna block her. When I made that statement to David Eby's office that he should have seeked a new candidate for the NDP, either a Barty Sandu, a Steve Pym, or an Eric Nival, or Rianne Gasper. Rianne Gasper is running here for the BC Conservatives in Mission. Gonna level the shit out of the poodle, which is rightfully so. She should have been doing releases here, and not, she's pumping a David Eby's money that she can feed through the back door over into Abbotsford. I, I need it out the door. Not standing up. She asked to be elected, and that party of election counts for the body of law, counts for fairness, and she can't do nothing. So what she do? She allowed this act to take place in this city here. And she allows Paul Horn to deliver this every day to him. Because in return, Pam's going to get help. Pam is going to get votes. The South Asian community here in the temple is outraged that this happened, and they're going to block her. They asked me about my opinion about it. I said, this don't block her. Kick her ass flying.
Kick her ass flying. She's got no morals. She was with Mike DeYoung, hanging and hanging on to the, to the United after Mike threatened Abbotsford seniors and homeowners. The establishment was well built across the Fraser Valley. Tell Henry got it caught calling all the shots. But what I expected out of this poodle, what I expected in Abbotsford residents is when Henry tried to end my life, even the RCMP said, the poodle is tied to David Eby. That is the Attorney General. Henry has to be picked up and charged. It's organized crime. So the Paul Horn, a man that was supposed to go down as a great mayor, now in a scandal, and he can't even figure, stop this because he's taking freedom of speech, driving it. I'll control it like Henry and Ross did. I'll control it. Next time, an election, Paul Horn will tell the mission chamber, you got a block too. Do you see how Henry did it for Ross? Needs to stop. This is why they called me here. Council in the back are chirping about Paul Horn and behind his back what he's doing for Pam. But Mission's employees here are really chirping that this is unfair to Ken Harar. I don't know him. I have reached out. He hasn't contacted. But I know all the particulars of what's taking place. So you could go to probably that Supreme Court and you can find that. So ladies and gentlemen, please go to Democracy being challenged at Abbotsford and donate. But there's no room for racist in, in this Fraser Valley. It's got to be bit in the tongue and it's got to be stopped. And Paul Horn needs his ass kicked even going down this route. There should have been common grounds. This is what George Ferguson was great at. Live Mission BC.